Hello everyone, my name is Greg and welcome to episode 4 of Sims like game in Unity. With the passage of time, needs will decay, making character hungry or tired and have to be fulfilled. Because in the last episode we clearly defined uh, that our value will be between 0 and 100, let's introduce a range attribute to our needs container state. Good. Now our state visualizes a nice uh, bar you can manipulate and change. Ok, now we want to introduce two new variables inside need container, decay rate and satisfaction rate. Decay rate will have a default value of 1, it is the rate at which our needs will decay. The higher the rate, the faster this need will decay, and sooner you will have to fulfill it. Satisfaction rate is the rise of the fulfillment of the needs based on the action of the character. For example, eating a meal should raise the satisfaction rate of hunger by certain value. Good, we want to make our needs decay over time. So in the update, let's create and call a new method called needs decay. Cycle through all our needs and call and create new method called decay on our needs. Inside this new method make the needs decay. Now let's reset the character state, so it will apply the default value of the decay rate to be 1 and launch the game. You should see how our rates will decay over time, and if we manipulate the rates, it will affect how fast our needs decay. Ok, now we need to apply the satisfaction to our needs. Let's rename needs method into process needs. If you don't know how to do this, you need to press Ctrl and R twice. Because now we will first apply the decay and at the same time apply the satisfaction, create new method called satisfaction. And inside, add the satisfaction rate to their state. Now if we launch the game, our rates will be decaying based on the decay rate and be increasing based on the satisfaction rate. But we have an issue, you can go below 0 and over 100, which is our limit range for our needs. So let's fix it. Inside our needs class create a new method called clump state. Inside this method clump our state between 0 and 100, limiting it. inside this range. 
and call this clump state after calling decay or satisfaction. Let's test this. Good. As you can see, our state of needs is clumped inside the 0 to 100 range. I know this episode is short, but this is a good place to stop for tonight. We will utilize those systems in the episodes to come. This is it for this episode. Special thank you to this old H2 and Stormbreaker 9000. See you in the next episode.